This is Neil Schneider for MTBS TV at E3 Expo. To my immediate right is Tyler Porter, industrial designer for Vuzix Corporation. I hope I got that right. Absolutely. So when I say industrial designer, what, what does that mean? So I designed the uh, basically the ergonomics of the design and also the look and feel of it. So uh, you know how it looks, how we fed everything in it, uh, the uh, ergonomics of it, how it fits on your head, that kind of thing. Okay, so let's talk about it. What are we looking at here? Let's hold it up for the camera. Yeah, so this is our this is our device. It is the uh, Vuzix Eyewear personal video display. Um, we are a source agnostic personal video player. So we can work with any HDMI device. Um, so that means uh, phone, tablet, PC, game consoles, um, and any any device, it'll work right out of the box uh, with HDMI, um, both regular 2D and the HDMI 3D standards. Um, so we can do frame pack 3D and all those. Um, it basically is a large screen television that you would wear. Um, we also do VR, so we do. Uh, we have a head tracker, and we are part of the OSVR Alliance, um, so we can do VR. But our main focus is really on being able to play any source um, comfortably. So um, we designed it so that uh, non-VR applications um, fix things that are not head tracked or not designed for it will still be comfortable to use. Um, you can see around the screen, and we've got a field of view so that um, you don't get ill or sick um, with content like that. Um, but it uh, it will also do VR as a secondary uh, application, and uh, yeah. yeah go ahead. So when we're talking about virtual reality, yes. so why don't we talk about some of the specs that deliver on the VR side? Right. So um, we have two displays, um, two projectors uh, built into the system. Um, we use a sophisticated set of optics so that uh, we don't need to do any kind of pre-distortion or any chromatic aberration correction. We do that all in physical optics. So um, through prisms and lenses and micro lens arrays, things like that, um, we're able to get an image that is uh, perfectly clear edge to edge with no distortion and no chromatic aberration uh, without any special software. So that allows us, again, to play off your regular DVD player um, with no special software and have it come out correct. So, remind me, so what, what field of view are you able to deliver with this? So um, we experimented a lot with the field of view, um, and we found that uh, 60 degrees was about the magic number for wide enough that you get a big screen experience and an, uh, a fairly immersive experience, but narrow enough that you don't get uh, uneasy or ill with content that is not head tracked. So um, you know, conventional content like movies and things like that um, will still play fine, and you, you'll be comfortable watching them. Could you just have like black bars where the field of view should have been? Like, I mean, can you effectively do more than 60 if you wanted to? Um, with a different, a uh, little bit different uh, optical path, we could. Um, but we found that it was just it, it was uncomfortable, and um, this still gives us a very large screen, like IMAX type experience, um, but still gives us a really high pixel density as well. Uh, that's one of the advantages of the slightly narrower field of view is you get the pixel density way up, so you can't see the individual pixels. Um, it's a very sharp image. That's actually one thing I, I really liked about this is when I was wearing it, the pixels were very dense. You didn't have that that like you know that window effect or yep. that uh, screen door effect, yep. if you will. And you have uh, I take it you have some head tracking options on this as well. Can you elaborate on that? Um, so we have a six-axis head tracker. Um, we're uh, working on the calibrations on that. That's uh, going to be hooked into the OSVR. So anything that's developed for OSVR will work with this. Um, and uh, yeah, that's basically it for that. So how far do you really want to go on the VR side? I mean, you know, I mean, 60 yeah. degrees is a personal viewer, right. but for VR, I mean, let's face it, you need that 100 degree plus. Exactly. It's not meant as a as a fully immersive uh, VR platform. What we wanted it to do was be able to play other content, but if you want to play with it, um, we still have the ability to use that VR stuff. So you can you can do it as a secondary option. Um, but our real goal is is to make regular content work as well. Are you, are you looking at other product lines for the VR side of things? Um, Come on, spill it, spill it. Um, yeah, um, you know we have a lot of products in the in the line. Um, we do a lot of commercial and industrial products as well. Um, we're working on the augmented reality uh, sector as well. Um, so we got a lot of things in the works. Um, I can't really talk about them specifically, but you can talk. You can talk. No, not too much. <laughs> um, but we've shown things in the past: um, augmented reality systems, concepts, and things that we're still working on. So you can kind of get an idea for where we're going with that. So what, what does this go for? So we're taking pre-orders on our website right now at 450. Um, the final price hasn't been announced yet, um, but we're looking at uh, somewhere in the five to six hundred range once it comes out in the fall. And 
remind me what kind of resolution we could expect on the displays? Uh, we have a 720p display in each eye. Um, but because of our projection engine and our optics, um, it comes out looking even better than that. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for joining Absolutely. us. Yeah, thank you. This is Neil Schneider for MTVS TV at E3 Expo. We will, of course, be back with more. Thank you for watching. Thank you.